Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Helen from Helen and Martin's Motorhome Treks and we like to record our travels digitally um, so it gives us great memories for the future. On this trip we're at Whitehall Farm, current camping site, which is in the Burnhams in North Norfolk. The Burnhams are a number of small towns um, all linked together. There's Burnham Thorpe, Burnham Market, Burnham Overy, Burnham Overy Stave and if you have a look on a map you'll see there's plenty of them. Uh, pretty much famous for being the birthplace of Nelson. Um, he was born in Burnham Thorpe and he learnt to sail at Burnham Overy Stave. And the place where we're camping here is called Whitehall Farm. So follow me and I'll show you around. Whitehall Farm itself is like I said is at Burnham Thorpe which is about five miles from Wells next to the sea and it's just slightly inland so as we go around here and go around to the left you can see the clue is in the title as to why it's called Whitehall Farm in that the house is white and that is actually a B&B where you can see the England flag flying that's where reception is and uh, we had a very warm welcome when we arrived yesterday. As you come further round and pan you around here you'll see that there is a caravan and motorhome club CL site that's got the five vans on it. That was uh, full when we tried to book in but what they do have is they have um, a big camping site a little bit further down so I'll take you down there and show you where that is. So it's got everything here that you can you would expect plenty of access to fresh water. The Elson Point, if you follow the um, white chain link to the left, the Elson Point is down there. And further around here, you've got showers and toilets, which, are, uh, which can be used by everybody that's on the site, which you get access to just down at the bottom down there. As I come round here, you can see that it, um, this is actually a working farm. Um, it's on the Holcomb Estate. And if we go around here, you can see something called the Whitehall Box. And this serves breakfast baps every morning between 8.30 and 10. And I have to say the sausage and egg sandwich I had this morning was really nice. This is a, a different sort of place here because you can even bring your horse on holiday. So they've got stables, loose boxes and paddocks and you can stay in some of the accommodation. So as we walk down here, it's pretty well laid out and you can see there's two big camping fields. Like I said, there's access to water everywhere here, bins, everything you'd expect on a normal site. Caters for tents, motorhomes, caravans, you name it. There's also got here a number of um, yurts and pods that are all named after um, fairy, female fairy tale characters. So we've got Goldilocks, Rapunzel, Snow White, Gretel and one or two others. There's electric hookup down the side for the caravans, tents and motorhomes that go down there and then further around the field you can see there's other, lots of other pictures um, which are free from electric. It's, uh, the site's sort of gently sloping I'd describe it as so you are going to need some sort of uh, levelling blocks but it's uh, a pretty de decent place to be and as we pan back round to our van we're in the middle just here and we've got Martin and the dog just sitting outside. And if you're thinking that you can hear in the background what sounds like third degree murder. <laughs> if you've ever walked at all in Norfolk, you'll know that it's littered with pig farms. Yes. And pigs, when they're quite happily playing, do sound like they're being savagely murdered. Yeah. It's a fact of life. <laughs> so that's for all those that aren't familiar with that. <laughs> But we're just having a little walk, we've got set up and it's a lovely site and Helen's going to do a site review Definitely. because it's... Yeah. It's a little gem. It is a lovely little spot. Yeah. And so we're setting off now, a little walk around the back way, exercise Poppy, and we're going to find a pub that Admiral uh, Lord Mel Nelson 
used before he set off on sale for the Battle of the Nile. Yes. So uh, we'll get to the pub if we can find it. It's supposed to be open. Um, order a pint of beer and then if we uh, can find we'll out a little a, bit more we'll history. A, yeah, we'll do a pint review as well. <laughs> we'll let you know how it goes on. Well, we walked uh, down into Burnham Thorpe, around the fields. It's quite a delightful little village actually. Typical brick and flint made North Norfolk village. Cheers. This is a very nice pint of um, 52 North Lager from the Woodford Brewery and it tastes and smells oh, really nice. The, um, the, Nelson, the Lord Nelson pub here um, used to be called the Plough in the 1600s uh, but it was renamed after Nelson's victory at the Battle of the Nile. Um, Nelson entertained all the local men from the village before he left on uh, the HMS Agamemnon to do battle and his subsequent victory meant that they named the pub in the village after him. And I have to say, um, the pub it was initially built in the 1600s, um, then it went to rack and ruin and it was closed for quite some time and it was bought by Holcomb Estates, uh, they've just done a million pound refit on it. Um, it opened mid-June this year after the, sort of the lockdown had come off. Um, and it serves food and it serves excellent beer. So we'll probably give the food a try at uh, some point later this week. But if the, if, anything, if the beer's anything to go by, then it's really nice. It's absolutely fantastic. So um, if you find yourselves in the area, give it a try. Hello, this is our first full day at Whitehall Farm. We are uh, setting off on a walk across the beautiful countryside to go to Creek Abbey, somewhere we've not been to before. I'll just give you a little bit of a, of a pan round so you can see where we are. So Martin and Poppy are in front, going across the field. We're heading towards, I hope, um, Nelson's birthplace, which we think is just up here. Um, he was born in 1754 in Burnham Thorpe. So we're looking forward to, uh, to finding out where that was. And as a spin round now, you'll be able to see this, I have to say, quintessentially English countryside with the ponies grazing in the field apologies if we went into sun there and perhaps in the distance if you can just see the white house that is the campsite that's Whitehall Farm so there's a little uh, bit of a walk on the road to get across here onto this footpath but I have to say the sun is shining and it's a beautiful morning so we're on our way and uh, we'll take you with us Well, this is beautiful, isn't it? It's like uh, like painting, That's Suffolk paintings, gorgeous, isn't it? it? Is, it's yeah. uh, Constable-esque. Yeah. yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Through the gate. Well, this is the location of Nelson's birthplace, not surprisingly. It's a modern building now. But uh, it does justice, it's a nice place, and it's called Nelson's Barn, actually. So we've kept the, uh, the linking name, and why wouldn't you, I guess? There you go. Nelson's Barn. Helen's found something else interesting on the plaque. A pack, a plaque. My teeth in. of Admiral Lord Nelson. The old rectory in which the Admiral was born stood 20 yards back from this wall. It was pulled down in 1803. Presented by HMS Tyne, flagship of the Commander-in-Chief of the Home Fleet in August 1959. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. 
If you didn't already know it, uh, Nelson is Norfolk's famous son. And uh, we're pretty proud of the association. I know historical links can be controversial these days in some quarters, but we take history for what it is. It's of its time. And you can be interested in it, respect it, and uh, without seeking to rewrite it, I think. And maybe that's a bit controversial, I should keep off such subjects, but uh, it's, uh, we're quite pleased to have Nelson as the favourite son of the county anyway. So, we're moving on. I wonder if he climbed that tree. Yeah, that's probably an interesting thing. I wonder thing. if he ran out of his house, across the river here, the river burn, ran across there and climbed that tree or hid inside it. Yeah, because looking good, at it, uh, it's old enough, isn't it? hundred years old. It does, so, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, there's actually a, site, a sign there, isn't there? Yeah, site of Nelson's site birth. Site of Nelson's yeah. birth. I it come come out on the on the video, but this actually says the site of Nelson's birthplace on it. The church being that way. But I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think you can actually walk up there. I think that's uh, somebody's private drive. But hey, this is just absolutely idyllic the most beautiful locations. Roses and uh, yeah, the colour. There's a background buzz of bees as you're walking along here as well which is just absolutely delightful. And, uh, somebody's really loved the flowers in this house. Not pointing the cameras at people's houses but um, we catch a few roses protruding over the top and I'm quite happy with that, but it is actually beautiful. Yes. This looks like one of those scenes that I used to read about in the Enid Blyton books, you know the you know where the kids were always off on these long lazy summers on the bikes. Yeah. With lashings of ginger beer. With lashings yeah. of ginger yeah. beer, yeah, well done, yeah. Yeah, the famous five are the secret seven. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. It just looks like that sort of location, doesn't it? Definitely does. So we're here at Creek Abbey, which is um, an English heritage place. Uh, it looks it's gonna be quite interesting, I think. I think we're going in, aren't we, H? Yeah, we certainly are. Yeah, we're going to have a yeah. look at the uh, around the abbey and see what else there is. Yeah. And we just stood watching at least five now kites up in the air, swooping above us. So, be interested to get back and see what's in the camera, but otherwise, it's quite a um, quite a haul to see five so close. So, quite impressed. Uh, it's very quaint indeed. Mm -hmm. Look at that one, Holcomb Beach. That's Holcomb a nice Beach. One. Yeah. Is it, is it lovely there? Paintings. Yeah. yeah. Nice aboard. Uh, yeah. Martian flute. Very cute, isn't it? Cafe and food all open for takeaway. A nice uh, seated outdoor area. Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Well, we travel all the way to uh, Scotland to see Highland cows. And we could have just stayed in Norfolk. Well, these are two small calves. 
they're here for breeding or not, I don't know. Or whether they've been bred here, but uh, there's a further one behind it. Only small ones on the calves. Well, interesting though, nevertheless. Interesting little critters, as they say. So where are we, H? We are at Creek Abbey, which was um, the Abbey of St Mary of the Meadows. Founded in the 13th century by monks um, to take care of the sick and the needy. But a fire completely destroyed it. The, um, the Abbey was dissolved and all the money made from it was um, used to build, build Christ College at Cambridge. It's interesting. So, yeah. Surprising how many funding streams were brought to build Christ yeah, College at Cambridge, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And dogs aren't allowed in? No. Uh, assistance dogs at the minute, so if you want to go in and have a film and have a look round, then we'll swap over. Okay. All right. This is um, obviously an eco field or a wilding project on the Holcomb estate. It's absolutely beautiful. I hope it comes out on video to show you because it's, it's just rich in colour. And uh, yellows, purples, the poppies have gone now, but uh, every other colour you can think of is here in this area. And the smell, the wind's blowing towards me and the smell, the perfume of the flowers is amazing. It's, uh, yeah, interesting. And of course this side is agriculture, because that's what East uh, Anglia is all about really, especially Norfolk. It's due to the soil, the soil is really conducive to farming. And, uh, but here on this estate at least, there's a real emphasis on, uh, on the environment. There is every single vehicle that got electric and uh, they're really trying to combine um, high level farming really, or high capacity farming with uh, some concern for the environment, which is excellent. So, which is good. Yeah, so we're starting to come towards the main aspect of the hall. This is the lake. Got the boats on it, but uh, nothing moving today. As we come back round, as we go beyond this tree, start to get the first views of the house. A strange looking house really is Holcomb. Obviously very stately and very very powerful in it the way it looks architecturally but uh, 
Certainly would have left the family phoenix that were very grand and important when it was built, which I guess that's all part of it. But it's not the most prettiest of houses I've seen, but it is still quite worth a view. And the family still live here, and it's got quite a history, which uh, Helen's been reading on. But, uh, but architecturally, yeah, we've certainly seen uh, prettier ones. It's like got, got a bit like a rendered finish to it uh, on the top half, certainly. It sort of makes it look a little bit uh, austere, certainly in winter. But, uh, but otherwise, it's certainly a feat of architecture. This is a walk back down the hill towards the hall, reaching across from Helen's left shoulder. And um, the church is now behind us, so we're walking back towards the, the centre of the estate. We're probably making our way back now, I guess, are we? To... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. we'll make us back to the site, about a two mile walk back to the site. We've got um, four and a half miles on the, on the clock already, so a yeah, six and a half, seven mile walk, which is far enough for Pooch. And uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be the end of a quite a good day. Well, good morning everybody. Last day, we're just packing up now on our uh, nine day tour of North Norfolk. Um, we're gonna make three vlogs out of this. So by the time you're watching this, this will have been the third. The first one on the Willows at the RAF Mildon Air Base. The second one on the Rally at um, Weybourne and this one at uh, Burnham Thorpe. Um, so that's, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed all three. I'll put a link up if you've missed the first two so that you know um, where we've been and you can see the chronology of it all. Uh, we've had a crack in nine days actually, we've got to go back because the van's in for the dreaded hab check on Monday, it's a year old and uh, it's got to be done so we'll see where we get with that but uh, we've got some more plans after that and then we'll be back so we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>